You know the expression, been there, done that? That's one of my favorite functions our dreams provide. For example, when it comes to sadness, some of us almost automatically cry, while so many others don't have that comfort level. Some, even though they want to cry, those tears just don't come. That's where our dreams step in for what I often refer to as a rehearsal. In sad situations, if you're not expressing yourself, your dream will create sad scenarios to provide the setting. For me, a sad dream is a good dream. Your dream provides you with a safe place to practice until you feel ready to take the behavior outside to your waking life. If you've been crying in your dreams, when you're facing the sad daylight situation, your tears will flow more easily. You've been doing it inside your dreams. That's why I relate this example to been there, done that. That example aside, how about crying in your dream as a kind of flushing, a refreshing of yourself, a new beginning? I'm Lainey Dolphin, the Dream Analyst, and you can find me at thedreamanalyst.com.